Hey, I'm Joey, and this is a quick devotional to help fill your news feed with more of Jesus. And Mark 3, 13 through 19 says this. Jesus went up on a mountainside and called to him those he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. These are the twelve he appointed, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. To them he gave the name Boanagerd, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name, which means sons of thunder. Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. So this is a really, really pivotal and deep moment in the book of Mark. It can seem really subtle, but it is so, so important. So Jesus has appointed 12 specific people out of all the people who follow him. These 12 people to go and do what Jesus has already been doing throughout the Gospel of Mark, which is to cast out demons and to enter, to show in the people that the kingdom of God has come, that something new is beginning. So why does Jesus pick 12? Jesus picks 12 because of the 12 tribes of Israel in the Old Testament. There are 12 tribes of Israel who were the sons of Jacob, and their tradition is that these 12 tribes make up the nation of Israel. And the nation of Israel's commission by God through Abraham, I know it's a little bit complicated, was to be a blessing and to be holy and to be a blessing to the nations. And what's really interesting here is that these 12 people, representing the 12 tribes of Israel, are fulfilling what God had promised to Abraham. They are declaring that God's kingdom has come meaning they're going to bless the nations because God's kingdom has come, but they're also participating in that blessing as well through the power of God in God's kingdom to cast out demons and to preach the good news. So what is happening in this episode is that Jesus is using his 12 disciples to show what the true vocation of Israel is really all about which is to participate in God's activity here on earth and to be a blessing to the nations.